doesn't love a bold pair of earrings, but let's be honest, they can be heavy and hard to wear until now. Christine introduces us to a local business that is finding global success with a new, more comfortable option. Where did the idea for nickel and suede come from? About five, six years ago, my husband and I had started a belt business, and uh -huh. so we always had leather around, and we were always using it for our, our belt business, but I would go to the leather store and I'd see other patterns and pretty colors that I wanted to do something with. So I had purchased gold leather, leopard leather, and my husband said, what are you ever gonna be able to do with this? This is like just a waste. And I said, no, I'll find something. Yeah. So I used to always wear metal teardrop earrings that were heavy and uncomfortable, but I loved the look. And so one day I needed a gold pair. I always wore silver, but I, I need a gold pair for this outfit. I remembered I had this gold leather. I went down and cut out a pair of teardrop earrings out of leather, um, hooked them and tried them on, and I said, great, they look just like the gold uh, metal earrings I was looking for. Yeah. And then over the next couple days, I started wearing them and they were so much more comfortable than my metal ones. So after that, it was, well, maybe I should make another pair. Yeah. And I started telling people about them. What's really cool is you actually started making them after that in your basement? Yeah, so because we already had equipment to make belts, my husband said, oh, I can, we can get some of the right equipment to make these and do them well. Uh -huh. And so we started picking up other leathers. This was the first leather that we started with. And then um, we, we had the equipment to, to make them. And because I have a blog, I was uh -huh. able to talk about them on my style blog and tell people. And then we started getting people wanting to buy them. And so yeah, we were in our basement. We knew we could make them in our basement. It's a small product. <laughs> We thought forever, and then suddenly, we're not in our basement anymore. We are certainly not in your basement. In fact, we're surrounded by more leather than I've ever seen in my life in one room. You were just in Italy now? Yeah, we went to Italy in February, and we've learned that there are certain leathers that are really great for the jewelry we make, and there are some leathers that aren't. And so we've gone to all the best tanneries we can find to have custom stuff made, and as you can see, we sell through quite a bit more leather these days. So we, we couldn't have even fit this in our basement. <laughs> we'll talk about quality and coming up, we're actually gonna show you more of the production because I love that it's a local crew actually wearing the earrings right here in Kansas City. So we're going there next. 